Age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, is a common eye condition, especially in adults over 50, that causes damage to the macula, which results in vision loss. The macula is the central part of the retina at the back of the eye. Even though it's very small, it's the most sensitive part of the retina and is responsible for focusing central vision in the eye, controlling our ability to see fine detail and color, which in turn allows us, for example, to read, use a computer, drive, and recognize faces. AMD affects everyone differently. In some cases, vision loss does not occur for a long time, and in others, the disease progresses faster and can lead to vision loss in one or both eyes. There are two types of AMD, the dry type and the wet type. The more common type is dry AMD, in which the layer of cells beneath the retina begin to age, thin, and can eventually die. For every 10 patients with macular degeneration, approximately 9 would have the dry type alone. In a small percentage of cases, dry AMD evolves into wet AMD, which is more harmful to the macula. With wet AMD, new abnormal blood vessels form beneath the macula and retina in a process known as angiogenesis. The growth of these abnormal blood vessels is stimulated by a protein called vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF. These new blood vessels are fragile and weak, and they leak fluid and blood into the tissues of the retina. This fluid and blood, along with potential scarring, creates the vision problems that we see with wet AMD patients. Wet AMD can be associated with rapid and potentially profound visual loss. If left untreated, wet AMD can lead to irreversible macular damage. There are several symptoms that might point to wet AMD. 1. Vision may be distorted. Straight lines could appear bent or wavy. 2. Dark spots or blank spots may appear in the central vision. 3. Objects may seem different for each eye. 4. Colors may lose their brightness. Note that wet macular degeneration symptoms usually appear in a short period of time and get worse fairly quickly. Factors that may increase the risk of wet AMD include age, a family history of macular degeneration, ethnicity, wet AMD is more common in Caucasians, smoking, obesity, heart disease, and high blood pressure. Wet AMD is a chronic condition. It cannot be cured. However, it can be slowed and in some cases with early treatment, vision can be regained. To help with diagnosis and treatment, doctors will order a special scan of the eyes usually at every visit. This is called an OCT scan. The OCT uses light to take a high magnification view of the macula and the scans help the doctor make treatment decisions about AMD. The OCT scan is quick, painless, and completely safe. There are currently two main treatment options for wet AMD, photodynamic therapy and anti-VEGF treatment. Photodynamic therapy, also called PDT, is the injection of a drug into the bloodstream that is then activated by a laser aimed at the eye, sealing the leaking blood vessels in the macula. Laser therapies can be effective with repeated treatment, but scarring of the macula and additional vision loss may occur. Anti-VEGF medicine is a specialized medication for AMD that targets VEGF. It's designed to stop and reverse the formation of new blood vessels and is administered by an injection into the eye. Injection of anti-VEGF medicine can slow further visual loss and restore some vision in many cases of wet AMD. This procedure is generally very well tolerated. Risks can include increased pressure in the eye, retinal detachment, vitreous floaters, and very rarely, infection. In most cases, patients will require many regularly scheduled injections to achieve optimal results. It's important that patients try not to miss any appointments. Even after treatment is stopped, the doctor will typically see patients regularly to monitor for possible recurrence of wet AMD.